that I created using all sorts of different chili plate techniques. That's just what makes YouTube so awesome. Yes, there are so many cool tutorials for us to enjoy and share in. And on these pages, I've also got work from a fantastic art workshop that I went to uh, from a Jelly Arts registered teacher and <laughs> just learned all sorts of different things. Plus, gel plates, uh, I, they just lead to experimentation. So I always find some weird new thing every time I get my jelly plates out and have some fun with them so in the previous video I've, I've shown some of that coming together and then how to make this little journal which has got a record cover a little vintage record cover and then I just wanted to share with you what I do with all of these little haphazard prints I'm using some of my power pastels so these are the grown-up version of the crayons that you loved as a kid. <laughs> they just have a bit more pigment in them and they've got the same nice smell though. And they've got a bit of oil and wax, very nice mixture. And oh, they just have an opacity and a depth to them that is fabulous for working on top of other layers. One of the things that I just love the most about prints done with my jelly arts plate is that it looks dimensional but it's really very flat and if uh, I then use my Jane Davenport charismatic and my uh, paints my acrylic paints from my sets that is all matte so that I can put watercolor on it I can put pastels on it I can put crayons on it I can put whatever I desire on top of it. So I never want to paint myself into a corner by using something shiny or glossy in those base stages. And I'm not saying that you can't do that. I'm just saying this is what I do. <laughs> so I'm layering up and playing just with my crayons, just enjoying making a pattern. And I'm actually creating with a fabulous friend of mine, Kerry, and we're chatting the whole time and I'm not completely concentrating on what I'm doing I'm just enjoying mixing colors playing with colors making patterns and enjoying you know being in a creative scenario with a wonderful person and I've also used paint pen over the top of the power pastels and what I just love just about art in general but creativity is just the act of mark making whatever it is that you do it's interesting even if you make a mistake uh, if you're not making the mistake you're just not doing anything really you've got to make the occasional mistake so on this page this is in my journal I call this my layer cake journal I've actually got an online workshop that's all about creating beautiful backgrounds and this is the journal that I have from that and this is a jelly plate technique using and I've got the video uh, actually on my YouTube channel so you can see that as well and I'm using my palette pastels and using that to do a transfer into my uh, journal here so that's what's in the background and then I'm just highlighting and drawing around different areas bringing them up again with my power pastels I don't know why I've been on such a power pastel kick at the moment it's I just love them I think they're fantastic I'm planning for a big overseas trip at the moment and they've made it into my travel supplies that's the first time I think a crayon has made it into my travel supplies because you can't take everything with you you've got to be very selective and I usually get out all the art supplies and they all have a great big competition of who gets to come along on my trip with me and they won they, oh, I love them <laughs> now I'm drawing with one of my story time paint pens so this is a really fluid liquid acrylic uh, in a paint pen you shake it up off you go what makes mine different is they just have that opacity 
which I love and the colors are yum <laughs> having you know but here we are looking at black but anyway um not exactly color but look how opaque that white is excuse me thank you so that's uh, Snow White and Evil Queen, uh, the black and white set. And then there's also a set with bright colours in it, which is the Wonderland set. And the colours are all named after Alice characters. So I'm just blocking in some white. I don't know who this face is. Oh, well, I do because of the eyebrows. We know that it's going to be a Frida. At time of filming, uh, I was we were just in or just about to hit February which is free to you airy. and I have an, a Facebook group with oh, a lot of people in it wonderful creatives from all around the world and I create uh, artistic prompts creative prompts for them uh, and we all have you know giveaways and fun you can join the group and you just it's so that I can see people using my art supplies so it is the Jane Davenport mixed media group that you can join and we have the prompts and people can post it on social media and we just have, we have fun. And so Frida is very much on my mind. She's not far from my mind most of the time, to be honest with you. Mil, I just like her. I just think she's wonderful. Uh, so I'm using, uh, that is Queen of Hearts from the Wonderland set that I was just talking about before. And I am just put down some uh, pink there. I wanted her to have that naive, just a little folk art style. And again, I'm talking with my friend. We're both working on underlayers, not really concentrating on what we're doing. You can see Kerry's work there. She started off with a stencil. I think she had that bright, all those bright colors were just randomly in the background anyway. And now she, or maybe she's added to it. And then she's just, these are the underlayers. And then you get more and more detail as you go and things tighten up and look snazzy as as time progresses. <laughs> She's just passing me some mermaid markers there. What's important to note about Kerry's work is her manicure was gorgeous. Okay, so now I'm using one of my limited edition mermaid markers in a color called Falling Star from the Celestial Sky set and adding some little details in the hair. I've actually got an online workshop that's all about Frida called Viva La Vida. You're very welcome to come and join it. Oh, I just love all of my art supplies that I've created with Spellbinders and of course my Jelly Arts plate that I created with Jelly Arts. And just where these tools lead me. Um, oh, I just, I'm looking at that screen with all of those art supplies strewn everywhere, that is just heaven to me. And then I've got a great friend on the other side. We've been die cutting, we've been stamping, <laughs> painting, jelly plates. It's all been happening. I know that some people will jelly plate and, and what they finish with, that is their artwork. For me, it's the background to keep working on and uh, thank you for joining me and letting me show you the fun that I have working on beautiful, colourful backgrounds. 